This is nice music. I think Gabriel likes. I think Gabriel always wanted to play the strings when he was uh, when he was younger. So I think he. Uh, this is probably one of his favorite stations. Here at Radio Freedom. All quiet here. Stay tuned for Minutemen alerts. That's pretty much one of the main reasons why we're listening to this station. Minutemen alerts. So I heard there's a kidnapping. Green Top Nursery. Ooh. Should probably turn this off so I can hear dialogue. I'll listen to the frequencies later. This looks like. Oh, wow. Look at that. This looks like a great place for us to settle. These people know know what's up. You've got to help. They've kidnapped my husband. Really? Tell me what happened. Just tell me what happened. They said they'd be back for ransom in a few days. If I don't pay up, they'll kill him. But mm. I don't have that kind of money. Exactly. That's what he that's what he can't stand. I'll get him back. Do you know where? Do you know where they took him? I'm pretty sure. I'll mark it on your map. Perfect. We asked the Minutemen for help, but I didn't really think anyone would come. Just bring him back safe, okay? You have a minute. I, uh, well, I wanted to talk about something. Sure, Preston. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? I've been thinking back lately on how things were for me when we first met. It was the lowest point of my life. I mean, all my closest friends were dead. Everything I believed in had turned out to be a lie. I'd failed everyone who ever relied on me. I'd led them to Concord, and we had no hope of getting out alive. The thing is, that was actually okay with me. I was ready to die. Oh, Preston. It was what I felt I deserved. It was what I wanted. Preston, come on. You did your best, buddy. You did your best, Preston. You can't blame yourself for what happened. I knew it wasn't all on me, but I made my share of bad decisions along the way. I've got to live with that. My point in all of this is that, well, you saved my life. And not just by saving us from those raiders in Concord. I mean that you made me want to keep living again. Oh. Yes, that sounds pretty sappy, but it's true. If we hadn't met, or if you'd kill those raiders and then just take it off, I don't know if I'd still be around. Oh, I Preston. think I would have found some way to, you know, end it. <gasps> maybe not Preston. by shooting myself in the head or anything, but just by not caring about staying alive. So, Preston, I just wanted you to know that how much our friendship has meant to me. Oh my! Oh my! Okay, okay, okay. So, we we need to sit down and talk for a little bit at this point, guys, because um, there was there's something that I have uh, been thinking about for a while, and um, and and hear me out, hear me out, uh, uh, because it's I've got a, I've got a lot to say on this subject matter. So, one thing about Fallout Four is that not only can you have multiple romances? Not only one thing about Fallout 4 is that not only do you have romances, but you can actually um, be a polyamorous character. Um, and and other game games allow you to be you know, polyamorous too. Uh, in other words, there is you you can romance more than one companion. And none of the companions seem to mind or care. They don't. They don't care. There's no repercussions. They don't seem to be upset or seem to dislike that the fact that you're uh, romancing more than one of them, uh, like you would in some of the Bioware game romances. Some of the Bioware romances, of course, the characters. There definitely are characters, understandably so, who might have a bit of an issue with with polyamory. Um, and before I go even further. Polyamory for me personally in real life is not is not is not for me. It's not really my thing. Um, I'm very much a monogamous a monogamous type of person, and um, but I, but at the same time I don't I don't judge you know 
anyone who happens to be polyamorous. I actually have a couple of friends who are polyamorous and they are currently in um, what I believe to be a, a healthy polyamorous relationship. Now, some of you probably might get very uncomfortable about the subject. I know that, of course, morality, the idea of morality, of course, you know, gets brought up when we're talking about polyamory. Um, but, you know, regardless of how you feel about the issue of polyamory or, or, or anything related to it, um, this is a video game, guys. This is a video game. And in a video game, you have the opportunity to play the role of a character that does things that you probably wouldn't necessarily do yourself. You know, I mean, this is a game full of going around gunning people down and watching all of their guts explode and hacking them, cutting limbs off and, you know, shooting them in the head and watching the heads, like, you know, regurgitate off of their neck um, and, and other things like that. So we're already doing a lot of things that most of you viewing probably would not actually be doing in real life, at least not to this extent in real life. So, you know, talking about, oh, well, you know, whether or not polyamory is something you would do is not really, doesn't really, I don't see as much, that much of a difference. So it's a, it's a video game. Again, you're, 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 supposed to be given the opportunity to do stuff you don't normally do because for many people it's fun it's fun it's an outlet it's all fantasy it's all pretend we all know it's pretend so regardless of you know what your feelings are on polyamory it's just for fun it's just clean fun and in my i mean even in real life in my opinion whatever a group of whatever three or more consulting adults decide to do that makes them happy as long as it doesn't bother anyone else. I have no problem with it. Like you have, I have no problem with it. That's, that's just me. And you know, that applies to, if you think about it, that also applies to people in LGBT in general and polyamory doesn't go into LGBT necessarily, but, but it's, it's, um, the, the, the same rule applies, whatever cons two consenting adults, you know, want to do, to make themselves happy as long as they're not hurting anybody else. It's who are we to to judge? So the reason I bring this up is because with a game like Fallout 4 that gives you the opportunity to um, romance multiple people without repercussions, um, there definitely is a temptation for me to explore that just because I have never played a polyamorous character ever. I've always played monogamous characters in romance, in, in games that allow for romances like in um, Seduce Me Atome or like in the Mass Effect or Dragon Age Origins. Um, and, and yes, part of that is because of the repercussions that happen, the mechanical, the mechanics, the mechanical repercussions that happen when you're not in a monogamous relationship. Um, and, and also because I feel like my those characters, in character, it makes sense for them to be monogamous just in my head. With Gabriel, I always said that Gabriel was a very faithful. I always said he was very faithful. He hates people who cheat. He hates people who, um, you know, he hates infidelity when people are not true to the people that they love. But that does not necessarily mean that he's also monogamous because you can have completely, you know, faithful relationships with polyamory. Um, I, and, you know, I'm not a, I'm not an expert. I can't pretend that I know the ins and outs and everything about polyamory. Um, like I said, the, the, I, I have a couple of friends who are polyamorous and we've discussed it. We've talked about it. I had a lot of questions. And I just wanted to educate myself. I didn't want to be ignorant. I didn't want to, you know, make assumptions or generalizations. I wanted to hear from them as well. Like how, what, what is polyamory? How does it work? What does it involve? And, you know, what are, what, how, and uh, the polyamorous relationships, like at its core, isn't really that much, isn't that much different from monogamous relationships. Um, 
you know, of course, it can, it definitely has the potential to be more complicated, but I know that for a fact that there are people who have had very successful polyamorous um, relationships. It's it can definitely be harder to manage, but it's it's not impossible. And I mean, the big key is keeping the lines of communication open, always making sure that everyone is on the same page and knows what's going on. And I think that's really the key. So, um, so the thing with 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 Gabriel is, I think that um, while he has been spending a lot of time with Macready, I feel like Macready may have been interested in the prospect of polyamory. I I I I I'm kind of see Macready sort of being the one who initiates this concept with Gabriel and discussing it with them while they're maybe while they're cuddling or they're snuggling in bed um, just because they're very open in the relationship like that and um, I think that Gabriel probably has considered has maybe the thought had crossed his mind polyamory might have crossed his mind at some point but um, you know it wasn't something that he really pursued because at least in his former life, he was perfectly happy, of course, with Nora and his son. And there was, he really didn't at the time have any desire to really explore that even further than just, you know, maybe, you know, maybe just thinking about it on the back of his mind. But he, he didn't really have any desire to explore it. But now um, MacReady is bringing it up to him. And since MacReady seems to be perfectly okay with trying it out um, and exploring it, um, it resurfaces maybe some of those thoughts that Gabriel had probably maybe in his youth, maybe back when he was younger. Um, and maybe polyamory was something he always considered, um, but just didn't give too much seriousness to it because maybe he just never thought that Nora, for example, had any interest in it. So he never brought it up. He probably never even brought it up to Nora. But now that MacReady himself is bringing it up, I think MacReady and... Um, and uh, Gabriel were talking about the possibility of polyamory and maybe Gabriel had last they spoke said that he was willing to try it uh, because Gabriel is a very in my I'd like to think of Gabriel as a very loving man and um, I think that Gabriel has the ability and capacity to love people in a polyamorous relationship. Um, and so I think that Preston, for example, has really, really been, had a, had a big connection with Gabriel. And um, I'd like to think that Preston and McCready get along. I'd like to think that they, that they get along um, enough. Maybe not at first immediately, they might've gotten off on the wrong foot in the beginning. But at the end of the day, I feel like given MacReady's personality deep down inside at his core, I think that um, Preston and MacReady, you know, they, they can definitely be close. They can definitely be close. And um, Preston and Preston seems to be very attached to Gabriel. And um, maybe Gabriel, MacReady, and Preston, you know, should consider trying this out. I'm just it, it 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 feels right for me for 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 Gabriel at least it feels right for Gabriel to me because again Preston was the very first real friend that he made here in the wilderness and you know he's definitely I mean Gabriel definitely has been attracted to Preston and I think Gabriel was interested in Preston even before he met McCready. Um, but things with Preston moved a lot slower, and I think that he ended up bonding with McCready. He ended up bonding with McCready pretty quickly, and McCready ended up being, I guess, his first real relationship since Nora. Um, but uh, with with Preston now, I think that they're trying to. The two of them are trying to open the door for other. For, for to see just you know for other opportunities to see to see where it takes them and maybe it'll work out and maybe it won't but at least they'll know i guess is what mccready and gabriel thinks at, at least in the end they'll know 
If it works out, amazing. If it doesn't work out, it's okay. And if that were to happen, I I believe that Preston would, you know, probably just politely bow out, say, you know, hey guys, this I'm sorry, this is just not working for me. You know, I I, I just can't I can't ju I just can't continue this. Um, but I believe deep in my heart that Gabridi, Gabriel McReady, would still continue on strong. So for all of you who are completely on board, you know, Team Gabridi exclusively, I don't think anything is going to keep those two apart. I don't think anything will break the bond between Gabriel and RJ McCready. If there is going to be an OTP, there is no doubt in my mind, it is definitely going to be Gabriel McCready. Have you ever thought about us becoming more than just friends? Have I ever? You mean you've also? Hold on. Oh, you've, you've also? Caught me off guard there. Let me start over. If you're asking if I've ever thought about you romantically, the short answer is yes. But wow. I would never imagine that you could feel the same way about me. I mean, I know she's gone, but you still seem to be in love with your wife. I didn't think you were ready to move on. I'm willing to give it a try. If you are. You are? Really? That? Oh, he didn't finish his he didn't finish his statement. You should have let him you should have let him talk. Well, maybe after I say okay. Having reached the highest uh, level of affinity with Preston, you have gained the United We Stand perk. That's fantastic. Wow, I uh well, I don't really know what to say. We don't need to rush things. I'm just happy knowing that what I felt that it was real. That it wasn't just in my imagination. You're going to have to Aww. give me a minute to just enjoy this feeling. Oh, Preston, you are so sweet. Oh, wait till we wait till I tell McCready. Wait till I tell McCready that he was all for it. I'm assuming that Preston. I'm assuming that Preston, again, um, role playing wise, knew that McCready and I were together. And I guess maybe um, when he when um, I made that proposal to him, I think Preston figured, oh. Maybe they wanted to do a polyamorous relationship, and Preston was probably like, "Okay, yeah." He's like, "McCready's McCready's pretty darn, pretty darn hot." And Preston's like, "I like McCready," you know. Preston's thinking, "McCready, McCready's a cool guy. I wouldn't mind, you know, you know, being in a relationship with him." And that, and then it just goes. I don't know. It, I, I again, uh, polyamory. Polyamory is not something that I am at all. Um, I don't know anything about it by personal experience. I just try to apply as much as I can from my own personal experiences to polyamory and just just kind of go with it. So if any of you guys are watching and if you are a polyamorous poor person, please feel free to like uh, clarify things or correct me. If I say something wrong or offensive to you, please, please, please correct me. Um, try to do it as, you know, nicely and respectfully as you can, because I'm trying to be as nice and respectful as I can as well. Again, despite my naivety. But uh, yeah, throughout this whole thing, if there's something that you feel that um, I didn't really get or I didn't understand, or if you wanted to just clarify something for me about polyamory, please do. Um, and again, if you guys don't agree with polyamory, if it's just not your thing, um, just, just, you know... If you really want to debate about it, if you can do it respectfully, that's fine. But I don't want I don't want my uh, chats to suddenly become a you know a big back and forth you know debate over over this topic because you know this is all supposed to be good and fun. It's all supposed to be fun, um, especially if if the comments are laden with the troll, obviously. But. You, you guys know what's too much. You guys know what's too much, and you guys know, you know, when to just agree to disagree. So, we've got a lot of plants here. Mute fruits, mute fruits up to the wazoo. Um, I hope it's not too late. Hey. Good luck. 
we'll go help and I'll help you harvest. Add this to the to the pot, to the communal pot of mute fruits. Because McCready apparently McCready apparently enjoys mute fruit when uh when uh, him and uh him and Gabriel have sexy times, because he didn't know you could do that with mute fruit, apparently. I guess we might have to pr surprise Preston on that, too. So where did these kidnappers... Rescue settler at Monsinger Plaza. Where exactly is Monsinger Plaza? Aha, right over there. Close to the green tech genetics. All right, this way, this way, buddy. We've got a, we've got a husband to save. That husband's gonna live. He's not gonna die. Not on my watch. Not on our watch, right? Right, Preston? This must be the place. I have zero tolerance for raiders who try to take advantage of the people who can hardly take care of themselves. This one's all mine. Protectron, eh? Please, you've got to help me. Look in there now. Are you the one who was kidnapped? Oh, thank God. Someone <laughs> sent you after me? Yes, they're holding me for ransom, but I know we mm. can't pay what they're asking. Yeah, well, they're gonna pay. We're, they're gonna pay. I'll be back. Um, I don't want him to get shot on his way out. I'll Hold be on. back soon. I'll be back for you. No, don't leave. Please, cut me loose first. Okay. Hey there. All right. You're gonna help me now, right? Yes, set don't free. Worry. I'm here to rescue you. Oh my God, thank you. Let's go. Yeah, but I'm gonna make sure that you... Bathrobe. Oh! Bathrobe! Yes! Very much so. Oh. McCready in a bathrobe. Preston in a bathrobe. All three of us in a bathrobe. We need to find a whole matching set. Hey, back time! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. You're the one who's gonna pay, dear. Hey. Once I get up there. Oh, no, 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 no. That's right. That's right. Pop. Get away from my man. Get away from my gravy. Beautifully well done. You should take your own advice, sir. Nope, there's still one more. Preston, I love you, man, but, uh, your, uh, your, your thoughts on whether or not they're actually not here are, uh, not very accurate. What's that noise? I'm gonna knock you out. Gumdrops. Dirty water. I'll take that. Thought I. Nah. Ah! Not you. Not you. You're you're the one we're trying to rescue. It's okay. I think I got something over here. We've got couple. Yeah, I see him. Just before he can get a shot out.
Goodbye. You told me to come back. Careful what you wish for. Ooh, fusion cells. I could use those. Huh. Griswolds. Terminal. Systems wired up. Finally got all the terminals wired up. Took a while to get the turrets playing nice. Especially. I have to remember to get something nice for Jake after what happened to his pet mole rat. I wish Sue didn't have to be such a pain about this taking a while. Just because she can load up a few holotapes doesn't mean she knows the first thing about how complicated this old stuff is. Whatever. It works now. Play tape. Property of Griswold. Do not read. This means you. On life. On what? Okay. On death? On death by Griswold. Low to die. To kill, to maim. I really like to watch men die. I hope nobody kills me so I can kill them instead. The end. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, on Sue. Sue is pretty. Sue is nice. Sue can shoot real good, even at night. I love Sue. The end. What the heck? On Griswold. Low to be tough and handsome. Low to be the best shooter ever. Low to be Griswold, best raider ever. The end. Oh, did we shoot Griswold? On Sue, new. Sue is mean and not nice. That is why I shot her twice. The end. Okay. Apparently he wrote nothing about life or he deleted it. Okay. Missile, take that. Oh, oh, scale, disarm, disarm. Nice. I saw that trap. I don't always see him, but but when I do, I make good work. The, I, the trick is to actually spot them in the first place. I think I heard one more person. I thought I did, at least. I could be wrong. Nice. Brain fungus. Sue's terminal. Oh. Especi touch this and die slowly, especially you, Griswold. Next time I see Griswold, shoot him three times. Touch this and die slowly. Well, okay. Looks like Griswold got to her first, though. Huh. Oh! I heard that. I heard that. I'm getting better. Oh gosh, radiation. Why with the radiation? Why? Rad X. Ugh. This better be worth it, considering the radiation in here. Expert lock. Come on, where's the sweet spot? This one's gonna be tougher than I thought. That's why it was God. tough. It was all the way at the other extreme. Okay, I'm assuming the other guy escaped with us. Psycho killer! you down. Alright. The United You Stand perk, I forgot to check that. Uh, thanks to your relationship with Preston, you deal plus 20% more damage and gain plus 20 damage resistance when facing three or more opponents. I like that. Munsinger Plaza. Oh, there's our friend. Okay, you're free, my man. We got rid of your captors. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. Whole place is run by robots. I think Damn we spotted that place before. This thing you ever saw.
Who's shooting? Okay. It looks like we can go back now. Fast travel back to the Green Top Nursery. Wasteland Survival Guide. Farming the Wastes first issue. <laughs> I love the art in that. 